Let's just pound this little girl into the ground. I'm gonna take this little boy's lunch money now. Wisma's little bum hole. That's the one I wanted from this. Hello everyone and welcome to episode three of my Pokemon Shield, Go Lock. If you're unfamiliar with the rules of this series, do have a look in the description. They will be down there for you. Um, last time, we basically did nothing. <laughs> we got to Motorstoke and did all the story there, beat Hop on this bridge, and then stopped. That's pretty much everything we did. We did get a Muna though, which we called Lualua. And um, we are about to get to Route 3, where we can get our um, fifth encounter, actually. Um, you can get encounters here in Motorstoke by fishing. But I'm going to save town encounters and city encounters until later on if I need them. I'm going to keep to the root encounters for now. Root and like cave areas like the Gala Mine and all that. Um, yeah, so yeah, like I say, rules down below if you want to find them. Basically, I can only use Pokemon that I can catch in Pokemon Go, but there's certain rules around them. Um, this is the team so far. Quick team recap. I'll be brief with it, but here they are. We have got Bernard, who is pretty much an unstoppable force right now. He's got a boosted nature for its attack, the sturdy ability. Uh, and then we've got Given, which is probably the weakest member of our team, <laughs> with a, a bad nature in its attack, which is annoying. Uh, then we got this uh, Dabizas, our Wisma, uh, with the ability soundproof. Oh yeah, you've got Snowcloak, but doesn't often hail. So you've got Soundproof, our Wizmar called Dabizas. Soundproof and gives the Pokemon full immune to sound based moves, which ain't bad. And the newest recruit, Luar Luar. When it enters a battle, the Pokemon can tell one of the moves an opposing Pokemon has. So there you go. Even I've just realised, it even remembers what ball I caught them in on Pokemon Go. Look, you've got the great uh, Pokey Pokey and the Ultra I used on Swark. That's pretty cool. I'm actually going to double check my Pokemon Go footage to make sure that's the same. Uh, either way, I'm going to. Do you know what? I'm going to leave. Give. I know Given needs some training, but I'm going to leave him in the in the as a back burner for now. Because he's too, it's just too weak. Right, Route Three. We're officially here. So let's have a look. Go to the box. Just going to move this Nida ran up to here. So that's one to twenty. So okay. Uh, hey Google, pick a number from 1 to 26. Here's a random number, 22. 22, okay. Right, so uh, 6, 12, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 is a wingull. Okay, that's fine too high a level to use right now though because it won't obey me and also my level cap is the obedience level so so far my level cap is 20 so that's my encounter then there you go wing goal but it's got to stay in the box i haven't got a water or a flying type so that's pretty handy actually uh, I'm, I'm actually in my own personal time playing through or um uh, alpha sapphire and i've got i'm using a wing goal on there and it's absolutely crap <laughs> I don't like Wingull at all, but it may have some merit in this in, in this game, especially when it comes to that fire gym leader, because I haven't got anything strong against it. I'm not looking forward to Milo, to be honest, because the only type advantage I've got is um, is given with the ice typing, but it's also weak to grass, so I don't really know what we're going to do there. Oh, right, level 12 versus level 12. Cybeam. Ember, that's fine, just don't burn us. Easy. Loire Loire's got this. Go on, Loire Loire. Oh, not even half. Damn. I don't know what these Pokemon's IVs are at all. I didn't check when moving them over. I didn't want to be... I didn't want to do that. So... Uh, Loire Loire could have a bad nature for its... A bad nature? A bad IV. Let's just use Psybeam again just to be safe. A bad IV for its um, special attack? I don't know. I haven't got a clue. I'll check at the end of the series. Uh, uh, well, maybe I'll check just before the Elite... F I'll say the Elite Four. Just before the the, uh, the Champion Tournament. Maybe. 
Maybe. <laughs> right, well, the Wallawa's up to 13, so that's good. That is good. Just is too good. Uh, did we check Wingull's ability and everything? We didn't, did we? Let's have a quick look. Sorry, everyone. I'm new to this. I'd have checked if I put it in the party, wouldn't I? So, its ability raises its attack, lowers speed. Uh, I'll take it. Hydration. Heals status conditions if it's raining. I don't like circumstantial abilities, so it has something has to be happening for the ability to to work. I'll take it. It's, it's whatever. It's fine. Quick attack, supersonic, wing attack, and water pulse. That's all right. Wing attack and water pulse for the stab, and you've got a physical and a special. Yeah, that's all right. Twenty four. I mean, Wingull isn't really known for being an attacking Pokemon, is it? So. Yeah, brave nature. Right, anyway, yeah, that's, that's not bad. Right, let's crack on with the actual game. I'm going to try and battle as many trainers as I can. I'm not going to try and avoid them, unless my levels are near the, obviously, the level cap obedience level. Right then, let's just... <laughs> I was about to say, let's just pound this little girl into the ground, but I don't really want to be saying that out loud. Punch him! Punch him! Pancham, Pancham, whatever you want to call it. This is a good type matchup. Forewarn. Oh no, it's got Circle Throw. Who cares? Because I'm going to side beam you to death and steal your lunch money, little girl. Come on, side beam. I might put a potion on a little while, a while after this. Yep. Oh, so close. <laughs> Confused though. That's cool. I'm going to use Swift to try and finish it off. Oh, okay. You were you're going to go for Circle Throw, weren't you? That's a stupid thing to do, because then I'd move first and just win. Pretty sure Circle Throw is the move that goes after the opponent. Lualoa up to 14, Dabizas up to 14 as well, nice. Um, I forget what level Wisma evolves. Is it 14? That'd be nice. No, it's not. Um, yeah, right, thank you for your lunch money, see you later. There's items down here. What's this? A burn heal! I may need that. Oh, yeah, I was going to give Lualawar a potion, wasn't I? I'm going to give you a potion. Give you a potion. Done. Sorted. Sorted blood. Yeah, mate. Heal ball. I'm not going to need any balls. <laughs> oh, go away, Zigzagoon. I'm weak to you, and I might be slower, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to get away from this one. Forewarn. It's got headbutt. Oh, no. Run, please. Oh god. Lick. Oh god. Ah, didn't paralyze. That's alright. Got away safely though. That's fine. I don't like not being able to flee. I know it's it's a mechanic that's always been in Pokemon games, but I've never liked it in any generation. I know no one, you're not supposed to like it. It's not a thing you used to like. Oh, I really like not being able to flee. But it doesn't. Who's it benefiting? It just. It damages your Pokemon, and then you go. I don't like that it's based off of speed either. It should be based off of level. If you're an equal or higher level, you can flee. I'll take that. But if you're a lower level, you can't. Because like then, I was equal to Zigzagoon. So in my rule, I would have been able to flee. But in the rule of Pokemon, no, not allowed. So what can you do? Anyway, I've knocked that out in one. <laughs> hey, see you, bud. You. I'm going to take this little kid's uh, birthday money. I'm going to take this little boy's lunch money now. Gossifleur. No, it's not time for giving yet. Should we try Dabizas? I haven't used Dabizas in a while. What's your favourable stat? Oh, equal special attack and attack. That's not bad. Um, now I'm going to go for Bernard. He's a level below um, Luar Luar and Dabizas now. So, with Sork, is that why it's skin or is it wearing a robe? Does it say in any dex entries anywhere? People can study and let me know in the in the comments. <laughs> I just I because um with like Machamp and and that line, their underwear, if you want to call it that, and their belt or whatever, is apparently part of their clothing. So, is it the same for Sork and Throw? Like those black dangly bits on front of it, is that actually 
Is he actually wearing a belt? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, it looks like Swinob's on the slower um, uh, experience curve as well. So it's not only the weakest Pokemon, it's now growing slowest. So that's going to be helpful. Uh, Sonia's just going to show me a place that I can't access. So why are we getting shown there? That why are we getting shown the power plant? We can access power plants everywhere, pretty much, except well, even in Kalos you can a little bit. Not massively, but you can get inside a building somewhere. Even in Gen 7 you can go into the little building in front of it, but, you know, here, nothing. Have I just been healed? Nice, thanks. And off we go. Right. So, roly coly. Roly coly. Oh, here we go. Right, another battle. Dun, 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 dun. We're nearly at another encounter area as well. With any luck, we can get something that could help us in one of the gym badges. I'm trying to think of the water gym. We haven't really got anything for either. But not really many weaknesses. I mean, again, <laughs> Given's actually weak to the next three gyms. It's weak to grass, it's weak to water, and it's weak to fire. But it's also strong against grass and fire. So it's both the weakest and the strongest option in the next few gyms. Which is helpful. Right. It's really helpful. Oh, this is a dark type. Uh, switch to Bernard, please. When in doubt, Bernard it out. When in doubt, get Bernard out. That probably makes more grammatical sense. Yeah, so what... Uh, is that white it's skin? I don't know. I mean, he's got white skin. But I just... I don't get it. I don't get it. What does shiny Bernard look like as well? Does the white... I'm googling it, obviously. Does the white change? I'll put a picture of shiny. <laughs> what does shiny Bernard look like? I just typed in shiny Bernard as well. Yeah, the robe seems like it stays the same colour. Oh no, it goes slightly dark. Oh, I don't know. Let's not get caught up on that. Let's just play some Pokemon. Squavit. I reckon Given can probably take on a Squavit. Come on, Given. This is your time to shine. This is your moment. This is your perfect moment. Open your eyes and look where you're going. <laughs> right, so... How powerful is that? 40. I really need Icy Wind or something, don't I? Go, Powder Snow. Go, pa Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. He is useless. Might have to grind off camera after we get this gym and get... Get um, Jesus. Get given to a bit of a higher level. Oh wow, you are getting swapped out. You are not very good. Bernard, can can you come show him how it's done? Jesus. The thing is though, I love Mammoth Swine, so I don't want a box. Um, I don't want a box given. I reckon a Rock Smash will do this. Yeah, I don't want a box given. Yeah, I don't even. Do you know? I don't mind Squavit either. Does anyone else like Squavit? All right then. Question of the day then. What is your favourite underrated Pokemon? For me, well, I'd say for me it's Dunsparce, but because so many people have been liking Dunsparce lately, it's actually becoming not underrated anymore. Uh, Dunsparce is great for a Gen Two run through. What's this? Beat up. Dunsparce is good for a Gen 2 run-through, because um, you can rage the first gym and get that through. Second gym, uh, not quite sure what you do really, it's probably not that great in the second gym. But um, third gym against against Whitney, all you need to do is get roll out from um, the route above. Um, mud slap from, uh, what's his name, uh, Volkner's gym. Faulkner, Faulkner's gym, sorry. And that's it, you just mud slap until her mill tank is at exceptionally low level and uh, low level, low accuracy. And then you just roll out yourself. Then you get dig from the um, from the park above. And you use that in the present. Oh go on. Alright, oh, cool. Thank you for the thank you for the present. Um, 
Oh, I've just got it. Delibird delivering. He's a postman. Oh, obviously. Oh, dear. Uh, yeah. Then you can use Dig on Morty's gym. And their ghost type moves don't affect you at all. But your Dig is super effective against them in Gen 2. Then you can use Dig against Jasmine in the Steel type gym. Uh, don't use it in the Fighting type gym at all. <laughs> and then you can use Roll Out again in the Ice type gym if you can get that going. That means that's what's an unrest now, not that bothered. Equally, not with Sleep Talk. Uh, yeah, so it, it's pretty good. And then, yeah, so that's my favourite underrated Pokemon, Dunsparce. But if Dunsparce is considered not underrated anymore, who would I choose? I actually did use a Greedent in a Sword or Shield run through. I can't remember which one. I called it Mr. Nuts after the Game Boy game that I used to have as a kid. Schoolboy Peter! I know someone called Peter. Don't know who. Um, yeah, right. Uh, yeah, so. So, yeah, what's your favourite underrated Pokemon? Hmm. Your bug type moves. You've got Bite. I haven't really got anyone to counteract you. Let's go with Lua Lua for now. Should we try hip Let's try Hypnosis. Oh, we are taking you back. Oh, that was a crit, that's why. And super effective. Hypnosis. Okay, so we've got one... We've got one move here we can try and do. We're so close to a next encounter! Come on, Psybeam. Yes, you're fast asleep, but you might wake up next turn. Psybeam. In your face, Sizzlipede! Please stay asleep, please stay asleep. Yes, we got this one! If you watched last week's last week's uh, last episode, you'll know that Loa Loa hung on in a battle with one HP. We almost lost a Mon, almost. Do you want to learn Moonlight? Better than Defense Girl. And Bernard's level 15 now as well, so that's good. You can learn anything? Yeah, Quick Guard. No, don't want that. About to send out Dotler. Better not use Bernard then, but you're not very good either. Ah, oh, man. I'm going to try something. I'm going to use Moonlight first and then see... Oh, you're going to have Bug Bite, aren't you? But your physical attack might not be that good. Let's use Moonlight. Struggle Bug. Special attack fell. No, we can't keep doing that. We can't do that. We can't keep Loa Loa out. Dab his ass and try and echoed voice it. But it's going to struggle bug against us and lower our special attack. Confusion? Oh god, don't confuse us. Oh, little Wisma's little bum hole. Oh, it's horrible, isn't it? Uh, right, Astonish. Are we quicker? We are quicker. Let's try and flinch. Flinch? <sighs> Light screen? That's alright. That's okay. So, a Stab Pound, 40, so that will do 60. A Super Effective Astonish is just doing 60, but and that's out of the question now. But I do have a Silk Scarf on, but that can flinch. We'll keep on with Astonish. We'll keep on with Astonish. Yeah, another couple of them. Come on, flinch. <sighs> so what's this going to do? 33 to 21, that's 12. Can't I, I can't face a crit. We're chancing it here with Dabby's ass. Well, go on, flinch, flinch, flinch. Oh no, don't crit. Don't crit. Just don't crit. Thank you. Thank you for not critting. Astonish, please don't have any priority moves. That's good. Yes, right, Astonish, we're here, we're done. Good. We haven't got anything to defend ourselves against the Dotler. So, that's fun. But we are almost at the next area, almost. And we can get ourselves a new encounter. And then we can get through there and get ourselves another encounter. So, let's just get this while we can. Don't heal up now like I always do, like a fool. Because this lovely lady here. 
set was up a pop-up Pokemon Centre service. Healing my Pokemon. Thank you. And in we go. Next encounter ready. Right, I am aware I need to nickname this Wingull, but I haven't been near a Pokemon Centre yet. So we've got... Let's move this build them up. There we go, filled the gap. So we've got... Uh, 6, 12, 18, 24, 25. So, hey Google. Pick a number from 1 to 25. Here's a random number, 22. 22. So, did we have 22 just now? 6, 12, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Beldum, get in. Yes! I'm so glad I moved that up as well. Oh, it's 25. Level 25. And it's not going to be very good against the fire gym. Yes! That's the one I wanted from this. Oh, Google, you can go away now. Thank you. Oh, yes! That's, gr uh, that's brilliant. I'm so happy with that. <laughs> oh, not that he's excited about the wing now. I can't use it yet. By the way, I won't be boxing Pokemon all the time when I get them, because I've, look, the highest level Pokemon, I think, was that Soul Rock actually, at level 32. So once I get past, like, the third, fourth-ish gym, all Pokemon are going to be above that level anyway. So when I start rolling... Now, if I get a level 25, it's over-leveled. But in half the game's time, then levels aren't changing, so I'm going to start getting weak Pokemon as a roll. So that's going to be fun. Oh, right, anyway, let's have a look at that Beldum. Let's have a look. What have we got? Oh, we know what moves it will have. Tackle. There you go. Um, uh, down in special attack. But that's fine, because I'm pretty sure Metagross is a physical attacker. Clear body. Prevents other Pokemon's moves or abilities from lowering its stats. Pretty good. Up in defence as well. It's going to be bulky. Yeah, simpish nature. I'm alright with that. I'm alright with that. Beldum. I'm looking forward to that. Um, right. Well, there you go, and that was the encounter for, for here. Right, who have we got up first? Luar Luar. I'm going to change it to Bernard. We'll put Bernard up first. Right, we'll get to the end of this cave. Come back. Oh, come back, Carcoal. Actually, I don't need you. Right, what's this? A revive, pointless, and a Nuzlocke. What do you want me to do? I'm going to kick your Pokemon in the face! Worker Keith. Rog and Roller. Let's Rog and Roll. Kicking in the face! Yeah, we'll get to the end of this. Might be a slightly longer episode than normal, but we'll get to the end of the mine. And then we'll start the next episode from Route 4. Route 4? Yeah. There you go. Oh, it's got weak armor. I double kicked because I thought it had sturdy. But never mind. Done it anyway. Lovely. That's you done. Hit two times. Rock and roll a fainted. Given's level 14. Learn a new move? No. Okay. Given needs to learn a new move. My Pokemon are getting very close to that level 20 as well. Very close. If they get to level 18, I might have to... Oh, darn. Hmm. 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 <laughs> well, let's just go this way. Get this item. I don't want to battle too many. I'm not going to battle anyone on Route 4. I'm just going to go straight to the gym after the encounter. I think it's Rock Blast out here, isn't it? Yeah, Rock Blast. Good. Um, let's get that. Can anyone learn Rock Blast? Does anyone want to learn Rock Blast? Another key item, Escape Rope. I, I never knew the Escape Rope was a key item in this game. No, no one can learn it. Yeah, I didn't know the key, uh, the escape rope was a key item in this game. It's fantastic. I've never used it, never needed to. The caves and things aren't exactly big enough that you need to. Um, so yeah, it's pretty cool. Just trying to think of how many people to battle in here. Do I battle all of them? Ah, snuck through you. Oh, what's this one? I can't remember. Scary face. Hey! <laughs> Slows you down, doesn't it? Right, and... Um, 
Yeah, I'll just... Hmm. Uh, no, look, I'll tell you what. I'll stick to it. I'll battle train this where possible. But if my team are starting to get to near like level eight, that's 18 though, I've got to stop. Because they might not listen to me for much longer. <laughs> Because there's obviously trainers to take on in Milo's gym. And I don't want to go over level 20 when I'm in there. And then they not listen to me during the actual gym battle. That'd be bad. Rock smash. Rock smash. Yeah, you drop that piece of wood, you stupid little timber. I like timber, it's fine. Um, Lua Lua 17... This is getting dangerous now, I think. I think from now on, I'm just going to have to battle trainers that I have to battle. And I'll double back. You see what I mean about the obedience cap at the beginning of the game? is going to be a bit more difficult than the end. Uh, rock smash. And then we're going to send out Loa Loa. And Psy Beam you in the face. Everything is in the face. Dabby's ass level 17 now as well. Yeah, we, we're only going to battle trainers we have to battle now. Given level 14, that's the one I need to level up a bit. Oh dear. Yeah, at the end of this episode, and um, be between that and then and the start of the next one, I will um, go back to the wild area and. Um, yes, when? And get their Dynamax levels up to full. So I'm going to do like a few hours of Dynamax ra of raid battles. That'll be fun. Uh, worker Georgia. Sorry, Georgia. But I've smashed your team up. Uh, and I'm now I'm going to heal. Scary face. I mean, people can learn it. But I, I'm not that bothered. Given needs to. I might use some of the EXP candy on Given as well because it is just ridiculous. That's uh, so bad. Right, um. Um. I'm not looking forward to Bead's team of psychic types, I'm not going to lie. I think I have to battle this trainer. Yeah. I'm not looking forward to Bead's team of psychic types at all. Um. What am I going to do? I can't just... I suppose I could use Dabizass's echoed voice with the silk scarf on it. That could do some damage. Um, you're going to go first. Astonish? Oh, I bet you I'll flinch from this, won't I? No, no, I don't. Good. Yay! Something went my way. Um, that's you done, Diglett. Sorry, mate. Uh... Sorry, I'm just trying to think of a plan, Drillba. Have I got any water? Mm -hmm. It's risky using Given, though. I'll stick with Loa Loa. I'll stick with Loa Loa. And then I've got to put Loa Loa back in the box, I think, until the gym leader's ready. Rapid spin, should be fine. Yeah, it's alright. And then... Oh, dear. Right, come on. Sorry, I'm just thinking, thinking, thinking out loud. Yeah, you're confused. Haha. <laughs> uh, yeah. Thinking for the bead battle. I'm, pr I'm just going to have to go with Dabazas, I think, up front. Stick him there and see how we see how we get on. I might leave Lua Lua in for the battle. So it gets the experience still. Yeah, I'll do that. Coming up to about half hour in anyway. Right, so let's heal Wala a bit. And look, I've got 50 potions, let's just give it that as well. Right, so we can't use Bernard in this battle. I don't want to go battle that guy. Ether, that will actually come in handy. Carcoal, come back. Right, let's take this. Two super potions. 
Don't you hate it in games where you get given like healing items and everything just before something? You're like, oh, something coming. A big battle's coming. Oh, taking on Bead. It's pretty much half hour now. Let's take on Bead and then finish the app. We may get some deaths here. I hope not. I really hope not. But we'll see. We shall see. I really hope we don't get any deaths. Because <laughs> I don't want to lose the team. This battle has never been a problem. But right now I've got nothing to counteract his psychic types at all. And I've got one Pokemon that's weak to it. Uh, in Bernard. And that's actually my strongest Pokemon. Astonish on Solosis or Echoed Voice? Howl maybe. Raise my attack and then I can astonish his team. Yes. But what's your defences like? Dab his ass. Oh, that's a crit. Of course it is. Right, okay. Um, I've only got four super potions as well. Oh no. This is not going to go well, this battle, is it? This is not going to go well. Confusion. Let me get not another crit, please. 24 damage and I've got 26 health lift. Do I go first? I go first. That's something. Flinch. 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 I don't care what you're saying. Flinch. Yes. I can take down one Pokemon. That's good. That is good. Yes. Right. Right. One down. Two to go. Why is why am I nervous for this battle? It's never been difficult before until now. Gothita, that's fine. Uh, I don't know what damage it can do. Let's just do a potion for now. I want to see what damage you do against me. Scratchy nose. So, that's 46. What do you do? Psy Beam? That doesn't do half. I could switch out to Luwalawa now and swift it. And hope that they haven't got anything to counteract it. Or I could howl again and heal and risk dab his ass. It's not faster. It is not faster. Okay. Uh, super potion it, and then try and tank a side beam without getting confused, and no crits please. Oh, it's 26. Just out of interest, I don't think I've picked up any battle items, have I? No. Okay. I am risking dab his ass here. That's not fine, obviously, but... I did just half. Uh, we've, we've got to switch to Lawalawa, haven't we? We've got to tank the side beam, don't get confused, and then we'll hit it with a swift. I'm definitely going to be slower. Luwa uh, Muna is quite a slow Pokemon. Side beam was revealed. Oh, was it? I didn't know that one. Thanks for that. Tank it. Don't confuse. Damn it! It's going to be one of them sort of battles, I think, isn't it? Tickle? Oh, no! That's going to lower my special attack, isn't it? Oh, attack and defence. Which won't matter for hitting myself, because I'll do the same damage. Tickle again. That's fine. I'm not using physical attacks anyway, but it does mean if... Um, Anyone else has got a physical attack on your team? Oh, stop hitting yourself! Come on! It's going to be one of them battles. Pound. Oh, that's fine. Little otherwise tanky. Even after two defence drops. Even after two defence drops. Luwalawa is the answer. Luwalawa and Bernard have become solid Pokemon here. Right. Two down. 
One to go. Is it, um... Uh, Hatenda, isn't it? Ice Shard! Yes! Yes! <laughs> Take out Flail. I, I'm just not... Uh, again, circumstantial. I don't like circumstantial moves or abilities. God, this episode's going to be a long one, isn't it? Right. Hatenna. Keep in. Keep in. I'm going to use Moonlight. I'm definitely going last here because, like I say, Moona is slow. Round. I wish I bought the TM for round now because if I used it back on you, after you, I'd have been alright. Right, there's my Moonlight. Sweet. Now, what does Swift do on you? It's going to be a slow battle we're getting there. About a third. Hopefully another two Swifts will get you down. 36 to 27, only does 9 damage to so even a crit will do like 14, 15, so that's, ah, oh, we've got, come on, we've got this. We've got this, surely. Surely, this has got to be it now. Lawa Lawa was the answer all along. Yes! Easy. I say easy, it wasn't, was it? Obviously. <laughs> right. Brilliant. That's good. That's East good. Okay. You leave, and then I'll save. And we'll call it there. Although I do notice something hidden over here. A bag of stardust. Thank you very much. Right then. We'll go out there on the next episode. Save for now. Boom. But thank you for watching this one. It was much more entertaining than last time. Um, had to think about tactics with bead there. We need coverage for psychic types. But we haven't got any so far. But either way, thank you for watching this one, and do come into the next one, episode four. It'll be fun. I'm enjoying this series, mainly because no one's died yet, but still. Uh, yes, see you around <laughs> as I pull my earphone out. Bye-bye.